Welcome to DocuMate. In this video, we will be showing you the basic features of DocuMate. When you log in to your account, you start on your master dashboard. From there, you can create a new workflow or you can click onto any other workflow to enter the builder screen. Today, we will show you how to set up the automation for a basic non-disclosure agreement. By clicking onto the non-disclosure agreement demo, we'll enter into the non-disclosure agreement workflow. Right. This takes you to our builder screen. And as you can see, we have three tabs, questions, output documents, and settings. The questions tab is where we begin building the workflow. As you can see, I have already begun building the questions regarding to the disclosing party information. You can add more questions by clicking on add question at the bottom where you will see various options that are available. Every question on this page is a text type of question. Each question also has a very different variable name for each of the different questions. You can also make any of these questions required by checking or unchecking this box. Now I've made two pages. This first page is to the disclosing party information. The second page, as you can see, is a very similar layout to page one. However, you're asking about the receiving party's information. On the third page, we're going to ask about how long this agreement is enforceable. So we start with a yes, no type of question here, um, asking is there a limit to how long this agreement is enforceable? I then wanna ask how long is this agreement to be enforced? I have used a drop down menu here, so they can choose from three months, six months, 12 months, or 24 months. Now we only need to ask this question if there is a limit on how long this agreement is enforceable. So we're going to go ahead and click on the veering arrow of the logic here. We want it to show if the enforceable limit, the question above, is yes, meaning there is a limit. We want them to ask how long is the agreement to be enforced. All right, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and save. We'll go to the Word doc of the NDA to use the Word add-in document tagger. If you have not added the add-in, you can locate the link and upload directions under the Output Documents tab of your workflow right here. Download our Word add-in here to set up variables in your document and then upload it below. You can also unlock your PDF here if you're choosing to use a PDF. So here we are at the non-disclosure agreement Word document. As you can see here, I have already uploaded and opened my document document tagger. Um, you want to make sure you're on the correct workflow. So we want to go to the non-disclosure agreement demo workflow. And you can see here, these are all the different conditions that you have available to use to input variables into your document. The beginning questions focus on our disclosing party and receiving party, which are simple variables, the text variables that we put in. So we want to go ahead and start with those. So we want to enter it into um, the disclosing party name. So we want to make sure we click the correct variable. There are various formats you can use here. There's standard. Um, all uppercase or first letter capital. For this, we're going to keep a standard. We're going to insert that variable. As you can see here, it has showed up on the Word document. Now we need to add the disclosing party's street address, city and state, and zip. So let's start with the, the street address. Insert that. Add your space and insert the rest of the information here. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing, but now for the receiving party. And this is how simple it is to just drop and add basic information into multiple types of documents. Obviously, this kind of information could be used on various documents throughout most cases. So even at this point, you're already pretty ahead of the game by adding this information. Okay, I also know at the very end of my agreement here, I have a typed or printed name section for both of these parties. I'm going to go ahead and add the disclosing party name here. Now, at this case, I'm going to go ahead and make it uppercase so that it's the printed style. Go ahead and insert there. And we're going to do the same thing here for the receiving. There we go. All right, and you can also even format on top of this by highlighting 
And you can add the underline there to maintain consistency with the rest of the form. So you see here it has the word uppers um, afterwards, indicating that this is going to be uppercase. All right, so now I need to get into the length of time, which is my number four paragraph here. I have it separated into two separate paragraphs. Um, one, if the answer is no, um, then it, we have this language here. And then one, if the answer is yes, which is this language here. So we wanna go to show paragraph when. We wanna highlight the paragraph that we first went to deal with here. So we wanna show this paragraph when the enforceable limit question is no. As you see here, um, all of the language here is added in. It will bring this whole paragraph in if they answer no to that question. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this one here. We'll grab this paragraph, but now it is if this is yes. Insert condition, and you'll see here that language is there as well. Now in this, paragraph, you will also notice we have this variable here for the length of time. So this will just be a very simple variable on those four options that we gave on the enforceable length. Insert that variable as standard. And so that language will show up right here in that paragraph. Now we want to make sure we save this and we have it saved um, so that we can upload it onto our document. And here we are back at our document workflow for the non-disclosure agreement. We want to click over on the second tab here to the output documents. As you can see, I already have two documents that are already existing here. This is a PDF form, which you are able to unlock and add as well as another HIPAA form um, with the information needed. You can go to um, whichever file that you need, click on it, and add it to the output documents. All right, so at this point, we want to save and run so we can test out the workflow. So let's say the name is John Robert Doe, and he lives at 1234 Maple Drive. Let's say Walnut Grove, Indiana, 555, okay. So he's disclosing this information to James J. Smith, and he is at 5678 Oak Street in the same area. Okay, so at this point, we're going to ask if there's a limit just to test out um, our different paragraphs. Let's go ahead and see that there is a limit, and let's go ahead and pick a year. All right, so 12 months. At this point, Document provides this wonderful reviewing section where you can make sure that everything you wanted um, is typed in correctly and every answer can be changed at this point. Now let's continue forward and it's going to start automating the three documents that we have there. Now let's look at our one we just built, the basic non-disclosure agreement. You can open it as a doc if you wanted to continue editing. Um, we'll open it as a PDF here. And you'll see there's John Robert Doe. His address is included here. James J. Smith, and that address is included here. So let's go down to number four. And as you see, the time period is this non-disclosure. Survive for a year, 12 months, or until disclosing party. And then as we go down to the very bottom, we want to make sure that we have John Robert Doe listed here and James J. Smith listed there. All right. And now I hope you can see how easy it is to utilize Document to build a workflow and generate multiple documents from one easy questionnaire. We look forward to helping you automate your documents and create quick and easy workflows for all of your document needs.